What's up guys and welcome to Tan in his channel and today I'm going to do a review on the Technifiber Ice Coat. Um, it has a white color and it matched with the black frame perfectly. I love it. The idea of this video is that I play with uh, this string like a couple times before. First is on the Yonex Recall 100 and second is on the Technifiber T5 305 that I just reviewed about last month. You guys can follow the link to see what I think about that racket. I like the performance of the racket and the string very much. So that's why I want to see how it plays on my main racket, the Blade 98 16 by 19 V8. Okay, so I got it strung with uh, 45 pounds on the main and 43 pounds on the cross. Swing weight of the racket, okay, 329 right on the point of my preference. And the weight of the racket is 329 also. Before we go to the court, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next content. Thanks! Alright, actually this is the second session that I hit with this string. Uh, since I got this racket strung. On the first session, it sucks. Although I strung it at 45 pounds, which is considerably in the middle range, it feels so stiff and discomfort. It didn't pocket the ball, it has bad spin and under power. I was so surprised because it feels totally different than my experience with this string on the v core and t fight. So, before this session, I stood on the string bed for about 30 seconds to loosen it up a little bit. And finally, it feels pretty much more like it. So I think the ice coat may need some time to settle in. Uh, probably one session of hitting. Or you could uh, pre-stretch it before get it strung. I would categorize the ice coat as firm, crispy feel, not much ball pocketing a little board like and underpowered. The swing feels good at the sweet spot but it's not forgiving if you hit off the sweet spot and power could drop like 40%. The swing doesn't have much of the spin potential probably because it's a round poly not a shaped poly but still acceptable though. You guys can see on the playtest that my ground strokes didn't have such good margin over the net as I usually do, and I cannot hit a high topspin ball with fast pace. However, if you are flat hitters, the swing is really really good for you. It feels great when you really put all your power behind the shot and hit through the ball, like you can literally feel the explosiveness. However, if you want to hit my like, topspin rushing the ball, uh, I didn't feel the swing movement that much and the snapback. The control is good, especially on directional control. I can change the direction of the ball pretty easily as I plan. The depth control is above average. I can do just fine on neutral shot, but on defense, like percentage shot that I need margin over the net, I found it a bit hard to control. So I just hope that it has better spin though. On the attack, I think you have to be very confident in your shot because, as I said, it's not forgiving. So hitting late is not gonna do the work. And this became an issue on my backhand when I was hitting late. It was so under power and allowed the opponent to attack. On the forehand, I would give the rating of 8 out of 10. But on the backhand, I would give only 6. However, I found that backhand slice with this swing is probably one of the best shots. Like it goes low, just above the net level, lands deep in the court, and it doesn't float. I probably hit about 30 slices today, and I didn't miss a single one. The first serve is amazing, very good power and control. I pulled off two aces today on two sets of 7 point tiebreak, which is a good result. Second serve is just fine, but not very impressed. The return is okay, don't need a big take back, just compact backswing and follow through will do all the work. 
But it's not good enough to give me an opening for the attack though. I feel like I play better on the ground stroke um, and have some advantages over my opponent. But I don't feel very confident on the closing shots like approach shots or volleys though. I miss some good opportunity with the volleys that unpredictably win out. In summary, I think the swing is very decent. Um, not my most favorite poly, but I can play with it just fine. The ice code is under power overall, but it gives a precision and explosiveness on the sweet spot. Low spin potential, um, then shape it poorly, but control is pretty good. So I think the string is suitable for aggressive base liner who hit mostly flat, but not so much for the top string players. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye!